Hey guys, these past few weeks have been really productive. I came up with some updates and course releases. Here are the few points I want to talk about in this video. The level map for the Suica course, Square Dash release, Square Dash update, and mobile mastery. Let's go! So, first off, I had a request from one of my fellow students. He requested some kind of level selection panel for the Suica course. I was going for something simple like he proposed, but I don't know why I got in the flow zone and told to myself, hey, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be better? Hey, wouldn't it be better to have a scrolling map like in Candy Crush? So I guess I went with that. The basics of this system was to set up three or more images for the map and drop them in the UI as children of the canvas or any panel, basically. Then, using a scroll view, you can give the illusion of a scrolling map. For the level buttons, I used simple rec transforms placed wherever I wanted the buttons to be. I then added a script that was responsible for spawning those buttons, and voila! Well, the graphics are not top-notch. Programmer art. <clears throat> but some of my students already made some amazing maps. Here are some of them. I'm going to tackle the second and third point in one go, because they are tightly coupled. Indeed, I've released a new course, Square Dash, heavily inspired by Geometry Dash. The reason for this is that I've wanted to know how to have those precise movement and jumps for a long time now, and also know how to create a shader like there is in the game that fades the tile in and out or having the tiles go up and down. So this is exactly what I did here. For the terrain, I've decided to go with Unity tile map system, as this was a system I did not cover yet in any of my courses. That's one system added to my course quiver. In the more recent update, I've added the spaceship system. You can now enter a portal. Well, for now, this is only a purple trigger, but I'm sure some of you will come up with a better design. Okay, I'm a rapper. And control the player in a completely different way. This is an amazing exercise to practice OOP. I decided to use a really famous code style here, known as spaghetti code, so that I can display the importance of clean code. Don't worry, in the upcoming update that should come out this week, hopefully, I'll show one of the proper ways of adding that same motion type. The only difference is that this time I will use inheritance, polymorphism, and dependency injection to make the system more flexible. Indeed, this will allow us to add more motion types with ease. You can imagine any other way of controlling the character here. All right, on to the last point now. Let's talk business. I've decided to create a bundle with all of my courses, available for a fixed price. It will give you access to all my Udemy courses, so it means that you will also get access to all of the courses' source codes and be able to comment on Udemy. All of this for 50 bucks. But, 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 but. As always, when I launch something, there is a discount. So use the code LAUNCH-2024 at checkout for 30% off. I invite you to go to tabseal.com for more info. All right, enough self-promotion for today. I'll leave you here. Still need to work on some other course updates and take care of my dear students. Have an amazing day. Cheers.